Midjourney has quickly became one of the most popular AI image generators. And even though it lags behind some of the features of other image generators, such as table diffusion, it does generate the most beautiful images out of the box. And the Midjourney team has been trying to catch up to uh, Stable Diffusion quite a bit. And I'm super excited to announce that Midjourney have finally added in-painting on top of the panning and zooming that they added recently. All right, so let's sell the intro and get in-painting. Okay, if you haven't watched my previous Midjourney videos, be sure to watch them. I will link them right here. On here. I teach how to go from complete beginner to a pro in mid journey and that should be the video you watch before you watch this one. As you might know from my previous videos, if you want to use mid journey and other AI uh, algorithms, you can jump into the Hacking Modern Life Discord uh, server and use all those algorithms there as well as chat with other people, ask questions and share your experience. Let's jump to the computer and start in painting. All right, first, in order to change the prompt between uh, different image generations, we need to enable the uh, settings remix. We do that by typing, making sure we're choosing the mid journey bot and make sure that remix here is enabled. Once remix is enabled, Let's start by generating a simple image. Let's say, for example, imagine a unicorn on top of the Swiss Alps, and I'm gonna add an aspect ratio to make the image wider. I think that one came out very really nice. So let's upscale number two. And once we upscale the image, we get those three valley uh, buttons in here. The one we are interested in is valley region. Once you click on that, you have a new window appearing inside this code with a prompt here. If the remix wouldn't be enabled, we wouldn't be able to write a new prompt here. I want to take that area here and turn it into a volcano. And now what Midjourney will do, it will take the area it marked and will regenerate that area based on the existing image with the new prompt. The rest of the image will stay the same, but that area will become an erupting volcano. Maybe I will redo that. Maybe I'll turn that one in, into an erupting volcano instead. So let's take it like that. Unfortunately, it seems that Midjourney in its in painting is still not perfect, but this is literally the first step in, the, in that direction. So give them some time and they will get much better at it. I did succeed generating some very interesting results with the existing version already. All right, that is much, much better. So let's take, for example, number two and upscale that one now. Okay, we have the erupting volcano here. We have the zoom in, zoom out uh, buttons on the bottom. So we can zoom out the image a little bit and we'll get more details of the volcano and more details of the mountains here. So let's do that. Basically what Midjourney does in this case, it leaves the original image in the middle and generates everything around it. And because of how image generation engines work, they will keep the borders of the existing image and throw kind of a new picture around it that matches it. And we can see here that the original image in the, in the center and the new generated content is on the borders. To be fair, in this particular case, they're all pretty similar, but I'm gonna upscale that one. Now, let's take that area here and replace it with a skyscraper. And we start seeing here a futuristic frozen skyscraper appearing behind the unicorn. Let's take that one, upscale it. And now we can use the pen buttons to generate additional areas behind or in front of the unicorn. In this case, I choose to generate what's on the left of the unicorn. Now, when you pan, because we have the remix enabled, Midjourney asks us what new prompt you want to use. In this case, what we actually want to use is what will be generated in the panning, maybe frozen Swiss Alps. And now Midjourney is trying to extend the image while maintaining the same style and adding the prompt we just added, so frozen Swiss Alps, to the left of the image. And once the image is generated, it combines the newly generated part with the existing part. Okay, that one looks exactly what I meant. Once you upscale that, we can extend to the other side as well. In this case, with the same prompt. And there you have it, a beautiful 
panorama of a unicorn with a futuristic skyscraper and an erupting volcano surrounded by frozen Swiss Alps. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm personally very excited about in painting the mid journey and I'm looking forward to seeing what else the mid journey team will come up with next. I however has been um, using stable diffusion a lot and I'm working on a detailed tutorial in multiple videos about stable diffusion. So if that is something that interests you, be sure to subscribe. However, on this channel, I talk about all kinds of modern life hacks, not just AI algorithms. If you have any questions or something is not clear or something doesn't work properly, be sure to tag me in uh, uh, the Hacking Modern Life Discord channel and I will do my best to help you as much as possible. All right, speaking of algorithms, be sure to like and subscribe this video so the YouTube algorithm will know that more people should see that. Until next time, keep hacking modern life. Bye.